Hello, hello. Good evening, uh, Nelson. <clears throat> Good evening. Hello, uh, Nelson. Hello, Anna. Hello, Eva. Hello, Rosa. Hello, Abigail and Hugo. Okay, cameras on, please. Try to play the camera on. All right, thank you very much because that's something that we need to have every single day. All right, so let's just start with our classes. Uh, welcome, uh, Rosa. All right, so let's see. Uh, We're going to double check our motivation part, right? So let's repeat motivation. Motivation. Very good. Motivation, motivation. motivation. All right, so one more time. Motivation. 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 Excellent. All right. So why we need to be uh, motivated all the time? Why? Why? So, ¿por qué tenemos que estar motivados? Well, in my opinion, it's something like you need to have inside, inner, right? So inner self, like uh, bien adentro de usted, estar motivated. Being motivated is something very good. All right. So why? Because only having your soul, having your mind motivated, you will complete your dreams. Okay, solo teniendo su alma, su, su cuerpo, su mente motivada, usted va a completar sus sueños. All right, so our quote from today is work hard, dream big, never give up. Work hard, dream big, never give up. Let's repeat, work hard. Work hard. Dream big. Work hard. Dream, dream, big. Big. dream big. Never give up. Never yeah. give up. Give up. Never give up. Never, Never give, up. give up. So what did that mean, uh, teacher? So tenemos que trabajar duro. Soñar grande. Y nunca rendirse. All right? So si usted se sueña, sueñen que va a aprender inglés y va a aprender portugués, italiano y francés. Dream, yes. dream big. All right? So no solo vamos a quedar con... Con un idioma a la par, no. Dream big, all right? So, después de este viene el francés, el inglés, o el italiano, o el portugués, el que usted le plazca. Usted es dueño de sus, de sus uh, decisiones. O mandarín, <laughs> chinese, japanese, <laughs> whatever you want. No, not a problem, all right? So, but first, we need to work hard, dream big, and never give up. Why never give up? Nunca hay que rendirse, nunca. All right? So, no, no existe el rendirse. El que se rinde pierde, dijo aquel, ¿verdad? El que se rinde pierde. Usted tiene que estar motivado a que va a completar esos sueños grandes que tiene. All right. So, mándeme un like ahí y le creo que usted va a soñar grande y nunca se me va a rendir. Come on, let's go. Quiero ver ahí ese, ese like. And there we go. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Hugo. Thank you, Rosa. Let's see. And thank you, everybody else. All right. All right. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Alex. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very good. All right, let's pass to our first class. All right, so let's see. Give me one second. Just a moment. Our first topic. Oh. All right, so we did complete yesterday this part, right? Do you remember that we complete this one or we didn't? Yes, we did, right? A singer has an excited job, remember? ¿Se recuerdan? Yes. Yes. Remember. yes. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, let's repeat one more time. A singer has a, an excited job. Come on, let's go. A singer, a singer has, has an excited job. job. Excellent, excellent. Very good, very good. I disagree. I think a singer job is boring. I disagree. I think a singer job is boring. Excellent. All right. So a flight attendant has a stressful okay. job. A flight attendant has a stressful job. I agree it is stressful. I agree. I agree. One more time. I agree it. I agree it. It's stressful. I agree. Very good. A cashier job. A cashier job is not easy. A cashier job is not easy. All right. Very good. Cashier. Let's repeat. Cashier. Cashier. All right. A cashier job is not easy. 
Excellent. I disagree. A cashier have and a difficult job. I disagree. A cashier, disagree. A cashier has, has a difficult job. Has, has, a, has difficult a difficult job. job. Mm -hmm. has Sorry. A difficult job. <laughs> Very good. I disagree. A cashier has a difficult job. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Okay. Let's uh, jump to the next uh, topic. All right. Let's see. Okay, let's see. We are just 15, 14. Where is the rest? Maybe everybody's sleeping, all right? Or everybody's busy. Okay, so Alex, please help me with our uh, objective, lesson objective. Come on, let's go. By the end of the class, you will learn vocabulary related to the full pyramid. You will also learn how they express the food that you like and dislike. Okay, let's repeat vocabulary. 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 Remember vocabulary. 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 Related. 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 Pyramid. Pyramid. Okay, let's uh, see that uh, the. Uh, the, the the traductor, the translator part. Let's see, give me one second. All right. So if you don't know, you know, if you know, if you don't know how to pronounce, you know, the the words that we are checking, just double check your translator tool, and you will hear it. Okay. Go ahead. Pyramid. 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 Very good. Pyramid. 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 Excellent, excellent. All right, so let's see. Glenda, welcome. Could you please help me with this, uh, Glenda Tavo, if you don't mind? Okay. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary related to the four food pyramid. You will also learn how to express the food that you like and dislike. All right, everybody repeat related. 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 Not related, related. 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 Pyramid. 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 Excellent. All right. So let's go ahead and see the next um, part over here, right? So we are going to talk about our, our food pyramid. All right. So what did that mean? Esto quiere decir. ¿Cómo tendríamos que llevar balanceada nuestra comida o nuestra, esta es nuestra pirámide de comida? Así tendría que ir balanceado, ¿verdad? Tendría que ir el, el ¿cómo es? La carne, el aceite, el azúcar, etcétera, 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 ¿verdad? Así como lo mira en el video, lo va a ver en el video, all right? So then we're gonna practice, we are going to practice how to pronounce properly each word, all right? So, porque como le digo, un día va a ir usted a Estados Unidos y le van a decir, si trabaja en cocina, le van a decir, hey, could you please pass me, let's see, the letters, you know, a head of letters. Y usted como lo que entendió, usted letters, letters, usted es capaz le lleva, o sea, como no sabe, ¿verdad? Un ejemplo, como no sabe, a usted se le vino a la mente una carta, que digo, letter, letter. Y le va a llevar un pedazo de papel, o le va a llevar quizás de aquí el cereal. Entonces, we need to learn how to pronounce the words properly, okay? So let's go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary related to the food pyramid. You'll also learn how to express the foods that you like and dislike. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary on this food pyramid. Food pyramid. For good health, eat a lot of grains, vegetables, and fruit. Eat some dairy, meat, and other protein. Eat very little fat, oil, and sugar. Listen and practice. Fat, oil, sugar. Cream, butter, candy, oil, potato chips. Meat and other protein. Fish. Beans, beans, nuts, 
Nuts. Chicken. Eggs. Eggs. Beef. Beef. Dairy. Milk. Yogurt. Peas. Fruit. Bananas. Apples. Oranges. Strawberries. Mangoes. Vegetables. Broccoli. Carrots. Lettuce. Tomatoes. Potatoes. Grains. Bread. Cereal. Crackers. Rice. Noodles. Pasta. Now, I would like for you to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. To do this, we're going to express the food that we like and don't like. We will practice each section of the food pyramid. Let me give you a couple of examples. For the first section, fat, oil, sugar, I like cream, butter, and oil. I don't like candy and potato chips. The idea here is to practice all the vocabulary. So while you may like all the stuff from this food pyramid, I would like for you to think about your friends, family, and co-workers. And think about their likes and dislikes. Um, for example, my sister likes milk, uh, yogurt, uh, but she doesn't like cheese. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to use all the vocabulary that we learned on this lesson. And all right, class, uh, let me explain a little bit about this uh, topic, right? So uh, this is just a tip is going well, yes, it is a tip. All right, I want you to you guys pay attention. For example, in this uh, food pyramid, in esta pirámide de comida, for example, si usted no sabe que quiere decir fat, oil, sugar, eh, tampoco es esa adivinanza, ¿verdad? pero este solo es un tip para que me lo agarre. All right, so usted dice, okay, si, si está mencionando fat, oil, sugar, creo que sugar es azúcar, oil, aceite, fat, creo que sería engordarse gordo entonces entonces carne entonces en, pues, nos pasamos aquí abajo y dice meat and other protein right so dice carnes y, y otras proteínas cuando dice dairy qué se le viene a su cabecita a diario pero qué mira aquí aquí que mira Lácteos. en de... lácteos verdad yeah. very good lácteos very good lácteos usted dice ah pero aquí solo hay yogurt hay queso Hay leche, hay requesón, crema. Entonces, dairy would be lácteos, right? Obvio, aquí dice fruit, all right? So, obviamente usted mira solo fruta, ¿verdad? Entonces, y aquí, digamos, dice vegetable, solo mira vegetales, all right? So, aquí solo hay vegetales. Y green, eh, eh, greens, ¿qué, le, ¿qué se le viene a su cabecita? Granos. Granos, ¿verdad? Granos, ¿verdad? Entonces, el pan, el cereal las crackers, el arroz, la pasta y los noodles, right? So very good. Okay, so now we are going to uh, pass to a different topic. Give me one second. Well, the same one, but I want you to you learn from here. Okay, so as you can see here, guys, let's see. I want you to, I want you, to you guys uh, double check and let's repeat. Fat. 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 O oil. 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 Sugar. 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 One second. Let's see. All right. Uh, sugar. One more time. Sugar. 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 Cream. 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 Butter. 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 Candy. 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 Oil. 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 Potato chip. Potato, potato chips. Chip. Meat and other protein. 
Fish. Fish. Beans. Beans. Nut. Nuts. Chicken. 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 Eggs. 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 Beef. 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 Dairy. 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 What a dairy means in Spanish? Lattice. 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 Very good. Excellent. Good job, my class. Very good. Right on. Okay. So, yogurt. Yogurt. Milk. 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 Cheese. 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 Fruit. 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 Bananas. Fruit. Bananas. Banana. Apples. 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 Oranges. 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 The strawberries. 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 Mangoes. Mangoes. Excellent. Uh, vegetables. Vegetables. All right. So some other, I mean, let me make a short parenthesis here, guys. Uh, some people, sometimes you will see that instead of said vegetables, they said veggie. All right. So usted va a ir a un restaurante allá en Estados Unidos por fe, verdad? Europa por fe. You will travel. All right. So and you will, you will see on the menu, Usted va a decir, veggie pizza, veggie pizza. Y usted se va a quedar así, what is this? Es una pizza de vegetales, all right, vegetable. O sea, hay gente que lo dice, solo le dice, oh, you would like to have a veggie pizza? A veggie pizza? Oh, yes. Instead of said vegetables, all right? So let's repeat, vegetables. 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 Remember, every time that you see a letter S at the end of each word or any word, all right, so try to pronounce the uh, properly, right? I mean, the, the right word, because if you mira tomato, no le mira la E, o sea, pero tiene la E y la S, ¿verdad? Entonces tenemos que decir tomatoes. Let's repeat, tomatoes. 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 Okay. Broccoli. 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 Carrot. Carrot. No carrot. 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 Excellent. Very good. Potatoes. 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 Greens. Green. No green, grains. All right, so greens. All right, so if we don't know the right pronunciation, remember what we need to do. Grains, okay, se escribe grains. All right, so usted se viene acá, se viene acá y lo ponemos aquí, ¿verdad? Grains. Grains, all right, so. Grains. Grains, right? Grains. 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 Grains, no greens. Grains, very good. Grains. Grains. Okay, let's go over Grains. here. And what else? Okay, so let's repeat. Uh, grains. 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 One more Grains. time. Grains. Grains. Bread. 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 Cereal. 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 Crackers. 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 Rice. 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 One more time. Rice. 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 Excellent. Very good. Right on. Okay. Noodles. 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 Pasta. 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 All right. So excellent. Very good. Very good. Very good. All right. So now, do you have any questions so far? related to this topic do you know yeah. everything everything uh do you know all the meaning of each item that we just mentioned saben todos los significados de cada cosa que acabamos de practicar yes no picture dígame rosa dígame eh, what is the meaning of crackers crackers son de las galletitas esas que se acuerdan esas que son así como 
que pues las ocupan como para como para boquitas. Usted le echa así, digamos, el dip. Ah, de las como saladas. Ajá, crackers, saladas, ajá, de las saladitas, esas. Ajá. Ya, ya, ya. Ok. Y nuts. Noodles. Son las, si usted mira. Nuts. Noodles. Noodles. Protein. Son, son, los noodles son los, uh, prácticamente el, el spaghetti en otras palabras, ¿verdad? Son la, las, las, el, el spaghetti, pero no, aquí le ponen ajá. noodles. Son eh, de, no, de, de yo digo el, el que está en meats and not our proteins. Nuts. Oh, nuts. 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 Nuts es, prácticamente es, uh, permítame, se me acaba de ir, este, nueces. Um, Nue nueces. And beans, sure. and beans son los frijolitos, ok, beans, beans, beans. ¿qué más? Beef es, es, es como se llama, chuleta. Carnita, la carne, ajá, la chula, o sea, la carne, ajá, un, un, un buen pedazo de beef, de carne, ajá, beef, ajá, quiero ver, ¿qué más? Potato chip. Potato chip, acuérdense que es eh, prácticamente la, las galletas de... Las, de de papa, ¿verdad? Potato chip. Pero en este caso, ¿dónde está? Quiero ver. Eh, es un de fat oil sugar. I also. ¿Dónde está potato? Okay, over here. O ¿Sabes que potato chip es, es como la, este, las. Papa la, frita. La, no, las papitas que vende la Diana. De esas que las, las. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo se llaman? <ríe> no churro, pero ahí dice eh, potato chips. No dice potato chip, like. pero. La, la, esa, esa, esa. Esa, mero, esa, mero. Very good, very good, very good. Okay, I like when you ask questions because I want to make sure that you guys are understanding everything about it. Remember, how you guys are going to say it is, instead of said vegetables, en vez de decir vegetales, ¿qué es lo que le, cómo van a decir? Veggie. 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 Veggie, no veggie, veggie. Veggie, 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 All right, let's see. All right, so uh, let's see, be my guest. Uh, let's see, Ana Maria and Nelson. You need to tell me this, all right? So Adam is going to be Nelson and Ana Maria is going to be Amanda. Okay, let's go. Come on, let's go, guys. Vámonos. What do you want for the picnic? Mm. How about some sandwich? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have to any bread. And we don't have any any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No. We need some. All right. Let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure. Everyone likes potato salad. Excellent. Very good. Okay. So, um, Before we continue, let me explain, ¿verdad? Solo los agarré así a quemar ropa, los dos, ¿verdad? Pero les voy a explicar antes, ¿ok? So, I'm sorry. So, let's repeat. How about some sandwiches? Repeat. How about, How some, about, sandwiches? about some sandwiches? One more time. How about some sandwiches? How about some sandwiches? Ábrame un poquito más la boca, ¿verdad? No, no, no me la tenga así dormidita, ¿verdad? No me diga, How, uh, no, así no. How about some sandwiches? Excellent, very good. ¿Por qué le digo esto? Porque más adelante usted ya va a agarrar la, la entonación correcta. Si usted empieza mal a, media de, a, a mitad de carrera, usted va a estar peor. Entonces, <risa> la, la pronunciación va a estar terrible. Obviamente que ya cuando ya vaya a intermedio, avanzado... 
no, si le dicen, ok, eh, Hugo, léame aquí donde, dice, donde está el número dos, y obviamente el Hugo, no, Hugo no va a leer así, ¿verdad? Conversation, how about some, some, ¿verdad que no va a decir? No, no, yo le estoy diciendo ahorita porque we are learning, o sea, everybody's learning, but, but this is the very beginning, este es el, el, el mero comienzo. Y en el mero comienzo se tiene que pronunciar bien las palabras, sin que se me le duerma la boquita, abrir un poquito, la, un, abrir la, la boca un poco más y ya va a ver que le va, le va a resultar. Bueno, en este tema lo que vamos a verificar es el some y el any. Some, el any. Cuando usted dice some, some es porque es positivo. Solo tómenme esa referencia, es positivo. Cuando es any, es negativo. Ok, solo tome esa referencia, que okay? no se me vaya a confundir. Si usted se fija acá, esta, estos dos niños, creo que son mis, mis hermanos, mis primos, tienen the refrigerator empty, que quiere decir la, la refrigeradora, está empty, right? It's Vacía. empty, vacía, right? So, entonces, Adam, Adam o Adam y Amanda, están hablando, ¿verdad? Entonces, si yo llego a la, a la refrigeradora de... Dígame, Jorge. Eh, el sum es, es, es como simple o, o significa algún. No, o, no. Ahorita, ni muchísimo o muchos. El sum es... Ahorita solo tómeme el marco de referencia que es positivo, positivo. Y, y el n es el negativo. N ya se lo voy a explicar bien. Ya se lo voy a explicar. Ok, gracias. De una mejor manera, Gracias. para que no lo entiendan. Bueno, ya sabe. Vaya. Si se fijan, está vacía la, la refrigeradora, ¿verdad? Entonces viene Aram y le dice, What do you want for the picnic? What do you want for the picnic? Y viene Amanda y le dice, mm, How about some sandwiches? O sea, le está diciendo a ella, porque él le preguntó, ¿qué quieres para, para, qué quieres? Le dice, What do you want for the picnic? ¿Qué quieres para irnos de, para el día de campo? Y le dice, Um, algunos sándwiches, o sea, no, ella no le está negando nada, ¿verdad? Está siendo positivo. Entonces le dice, mm, how about some sándwiches? Viene a, a Aram y le dice, ok, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. Si se fija ahí, ahí está la respuesta a lo que me acaba de preguntar, eh, Mr. George, donde dice, eh, a Adam le dice, ok, we have some, le está, le está confirmando. Tenemos un, algo de pollo en la refrigeradora, pero no tenemos nada de pan. O sea, el any es negativo. No tenemos nada de pan, ¿verdad? Entonces le dice, ok, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. Viene Amanda y le dice, and we don't have any cheese. Para variar, como decimos nosotros, ¿verdad? Para variar, no hay pan y no hay queso. ¿Verdad? O sea, entonces le dice Amanda, and we don't have any cheese, le dice. Se fija, ahí le está diciendo algo negativo, que no hay ni queso. Entonces viene Adam y le dice, do we have any drinks? O sea, él ahí como que ya molestando, ¿verdad? Tenemos aunque sea algo de tomar, algo, alguna, alguna bebida, por decir. Viene ella y le dice, no. We need some. Ahí se fija positivo, ¿verdad? Ella le dice, no, we need some. Entonces, quiero que me entienda. Some es para cosas positivas. Any es para cosas most likely negativas. All right. Viene Adam y le dice, all right, let's get some lemonade. Ahí ya cambió el tema a Adam, ¿verdad? Le dice, let's get some lemonade. Agarremos, ok. Agarremos algo, algo, algo de limonada. Amanda le dice, And let's buy some potato salad. Y también compremos algo de potato salad. Y viene Adam le dice, sure, everyone likes potato salad. Ok, so, I just want to make sure que entendamos esta parte para seguir con las prácticas. Ya vamos a ver el video para que lo entiendan de una mejor manera, ok. So, Hugo, be my guest, con uh, Maria Auxiliadora. Ok, go ahead, come on, let's go. Okay, teacher. What do you want for the picnic? Mm, how about some sandwich? Okay. 
we have some chicken in the fr in the refri refri <laughs> refrigerator 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 very good refrigerator Go but we don't have any bread and we don't have any cheese do we have any drinks no we need some all right let's get let's get some lemonade 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 and let's buy some potato salad sure every john likes potato salad excellent very good very good excellent all right so let's see uh william and anna Xiomara be my guest please Why do juice when for taste finish? William? William Alfredo Martinez, can you hear me? All right, mm, go ahead. All right, so I guess William has a problems, a technical problems. All right, so let's work, uh, Maria Exiladora, work with uh, Alex Belloso. Okay, go ahead. Okay. What do you want for the picnic? Um, how about some sandwich? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, every everyone likes potato salad. Excellent. Okay, now let's see uh, Rosa Felicia with... Give me one second. Let me... Close this part over here. Rosa Felicia with uh oh, ya participó. Yes, teacher. Okay, okay. Rosa Felicia with uh, Nelson Rutilio, please be my guest. Come on, let's go. What do you want for the picnic? Mm, how how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread um we don't have any cheese do we have any drinks no we need some all right let's get some lemonade and let's buy some potato salad sure everyone likes potato salad very good, very good. Okay, uh, Anna, Anna Xiomara with Peter, please. Go ahead, be my guest, Peter. What do you want for the picnic? Hi, a bun some sandwich. Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And when those hands and six do we have any drinks no with no song all right let's get some lemonade and let's la siguiente palabra no la puedo pronunciar teacher which one perdón well which one? let's let's buy some potato salad mm -hmm. Okay, let's repeat. Let's buy some potato salad. Let's, let's buy. Let's buy. Let's buy. Let's buy some potato salad. Let's buy some potato salad. Potato salad. Okay. Sure, everyone like potato salad. Very good, very good, excellent. Right on. Let's see. Now, Minor and Melissa, be my guest, please. <clears throat> uh, 
today. What do you want for the picnic? Mm, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the, in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. We do we need do we have any drinks? No, we needed some. All right. Yes. Let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. Excellent. Jancy and Wilder, be my guest, please. What do you want for the picnic? Um, how about some sandwich? Okay. We have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some pota pota potato. 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 Mm -hmm. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. Okay. Excellent, excellent. Now, thank you very much, Ruth and Stephanie. Be my guest, please. What do you want for the picnic? Stephanie Carolina. Hola, ¿me escucha? Oh, yes, yes. Usted fue la que habló ahorita. Yes. All right, very good. And Ruth? Noemí Núñez? Are you, are you here? ¿Estás por aquí, Ruth? All right, so si no está Ruth por acá... Vamos a continuar con Jenny Concepción. Ayúdeme la Stephanie, please. Um, what did you want for your picnic? How about some sandwich? Well, okay, bread. Have some her have some chicken and drink. Refri character was wearing some habit on his bread. And if we don't have any cheese. Do we have it on his drink? No, we need some. I read. Let, let get, like hit some, some lemon, lemonade. ¿Sí? Lemonade. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Lemonade. Go ahead. Lemonade. Sam lemonade. Sam lemonade. Can you just buy some potato or salad? Sure. Sure. Every John likes pot pot potato. Potato, potato salad. salad. Potato salad. Potato salad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, if you are practicing, I just want to let you know that place your mute, I mean, your microphone on mute because I hear some music, all right? So if you if somebody else is listening music in your house, try to move on or trate de moverse para que no se oiga esa interferencia porque no se oye bien, ¿verdad? Con todo respeto, ¿verdad? Okay, Catherine and Carla, please be my guests. Catherine Corletto and Carla Sofia, be my guest, please. Go ahead. Eh, voy. Eh, I am Adam. Eh, el que usted quiera. Okay. Eh, what do you want for the picnic? Hello. Hello, hello. All right, nobody wants to help. Uh, okay, Joanna, help uh, help us with the second. Mm, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator. 
refrigerator, no sé cómo se dice. Refri refrigerator. Refrigerator. Very but good, very good. we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Um, do we do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. Thank you very much. Round of applause for you. Very nice. Jorge and uh, let's see, Glenda, please be my guest. Okay. What do you do want? What do you want for the picnic? Mm, how about some sandwich? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have uh, my bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have um, any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some uh, lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. Thank you very much. Uh, William and Abigail, be my guests, please. Okay. What do you want for the picnic? Um, how about a sandwich? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And um, we don't have any cheese. Don't we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right. Let's hit some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure. Everyone like potato salad. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Anyone else? Uh, ¿Quién más no ha participado? Levántame la manita. Porque tengo que pasar lista. Anybody else? ¿Quién no, quién no ha participado? Eh, ¿Quién, quién, 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 quién? ¿Dónde se aparece? ¿Dónde está el chat? ¿Dónde está el chat? ¿Quién más no ha participado? Escríbame en el chat, por favor, que no puedo ver. Quiero ver. ¿Quién me levantó la manita? Hello, hello. Yo no he participado. Elizabeth, okay, Elizabeth. Okay, let's go, Elizabeth. All right, Elizabeth, okay, what do you want for picnic? For picnic? Um, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. Very good, excellent. Anybody else? Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Anybody else? Alguien que no haya participado, yo le ayudo en este momento. ¿Quién? Elizabeth ya pasó. ¿Quién más? All right, Ana Cáceres. All right, what do you want for the picnic? Mm, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. Very good, excellent, Anna. All right, who else? Uh, Ruth? Ya le pregunté como dos veces, mi estimada Ruth, para démosle ahorita. What do you want for the picnic? Ruth, what do you want for the picnic? Tiene problemas con el micrófono, teacher. Sí, ese es el problema, porque ya le pregunté dos veces. Uh -huh. Ahí, ahí que... aparecía en el mensaje, me parece. Sí, es que lo que pasa es que yo creo que yo no he tocado nada, verdad la verdad. Bueno, este, quiero ver, ¿no? Si no, todos me, sí. no me escucharan. 
Ana Cáceres, sí, ya pasó. No, mm. él, sí. ella tiene problemas con el micrófono. Sí, ella tiene problemas. Ok, uh, let me stop the recording. Let me pass this right now because it's kind of late. Sorry yeah. about the inconvenience, uh, Ruth. All right, so probably you have problems with your microphone. Creo que tiene problemas con su micrófono, mi estimada. Yes, right. I'm sorry. Okay, let's see. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Okay. Vamos a pasar lista right now. Okay, me dice presente. I'm here or aquí, como se le parezca. Vamos a ver. Okay, today is the 17th, right? August 17th. Let's see. Yeah. All right, so uh, Abigail Elizabeth Noyola Lopez. I am here, teacher. Thank you. Ana Maria Cáceres Hernández. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Ana Xiomara Barrera de Rivera. Present, teacher. Excellent. Uh, Eva Elizabeth Ordóñez Martínez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, miss. Uh, Glenda Carina Baños de Serna. Present, teacher. Hugo Adalberto, thank you. Hugo Adalberto Orellana Vides. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, sir. Joana Guadalupe Fernandez Larreinaga. Present. Thank you, miss. Uh, Jorge Alberto Merino Quintanilla. Thank you, teacher. Uh, Carla Esmeralda Orantes Andres. Okay. Uh, Carla Sofia Gonzalez Montano. Present. Thank you. Catherine Guadalupe Corleto Perez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Maria Auxiliadora Cornejo de Díaz. Present, teacher. Thank you, miss. Uh, Marielos Elizabeth Avalos Barahona. Marielos Elizabeth Avalos Barahona. She's not here. Si tiene malo el micrófonito, mándeme un mensajito uh, para poner, uh, este, hacerle ver que ustedes están acá, ¿ok? Este, vamos a ver. Uh, Minor Alexander Santos Solís. Here's the show. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Okay, let's see. Uh, Melissa Giselle Lopez Franco. Present teacher. Thank you. Moises Abraham Rodas Chavez. It's not here. Nelson Rutilio Orellana Iraeta. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Pedro Nathan Ramirez Andrade. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, sir. Eh, Raul Alexander Belloso Alberto. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Rosa Elizabeth Barrientos de Márquez. Present. Excellent. Rosa Feliciana Argueta. Present. Thank you. Rudy Omar Rivas Diaz. Rudy Omar Rivas Diaz. It's not here. Ruth Noemi Núñez Pertica. Ruth Noemi Núñez Pertica. That's aquí. Zaira Abigail Carrillo Chávez. Zaira Abigail Carrillo Chávez. She's not here. Stephanie Carolina Javier Barrera. Present teacher. Thank you. Swanny uh, Marilacis Hernandez Cornejo. Swanny Marilacis Hernandez Cornejo. She's not here. Wilder Gabriel Chica Alvarenga. William Alfredo Martinez Perez. Present teacher. Usted Wilder or William? William. Okay, perfecto. Okay. Wilder Gabriel Chica Alvarenga, it's not here. William Alfredo Martínez ya me contestó. Okay, Jancy Stephanie Alvarado de Escalante. Jancy Stephanie Alvarado de Escalante. Jenny, thank you. Jenny de la Concepción Urbina de Meléndez. I am here, teacher. Thank you, miss. Very good. All right, so, okay, let's see. So, okay, so let me just share this part with you guys and let's get back on track. All it's right. Uh, dígame, Ana. Uh, okay, perfecto, Ruth. Not a problem. Déjame ver. No sé si le puedo quitar aquí el micrófono. Okay, stop. Make. 
allow rename as to mute. Okay. Okay, Ruth, no worries. Okay, so I got you over here. Okay, so I got you over here. No, no worries. All right, so let's get back on track. Give me one second. And ya, ya vimos este video. Vamos a ver el siguiente. What time it is? We have nine minutes. Okay. All right, lesson objective. Let's repeat. Lesson objective. Come on, let's go, everybody. Lesson objective. Lesson, uh, lesson objective. Very good, very good. All right, so lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will learn you will learn what count and not count nouns are. Additionally, you will learn how to use the expressions some and any. All right, so mm -hmm. es lo que acabamos de ver. Dice, al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán sobre los sustantivos contables y no contables. Adicionalmente, ustedes aprender, aprenderán a usar las expresiones algunos, algunas, o ninguno o ninguna, ok? So, let's go. Let's repeat some and any. Some and any. Ok, dígame, Anita, que, que, ¿tiene otra preguntita? ¿No? No. Ok, 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 que tiene la manita levantadita. Ok, no, no worries. Ok, perfecto. Ok, so, let me play this video. Ya casi más o menos sabemos de lo que trata porque ya lo practicamos. Let's go. In this class, you'll learn what count and non-count nouns are. Additionally, you'll learn how to use the expressions some and any. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, How about some sandwiches? Which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice. What do you want for the picnic? Hmm. How about some sandwiches? Okay. We have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right. Let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure. Everyone likes potato salad. The first thing that I would like to explain is this concept of count and non-count nouns. A noun is a person, a place, or a thing. So basically anything that can be seen around you is a noun. Uh, in English we have two types of nouns. We have count nouns and non-count nouns. Count nouns are those things that you can count. As you can see on the chart an egg, eggs, a sandwich, sandwiches. We can count eggs and sandwiches. Non-count nouns are those things that you can't count because it's impossible to count. For example, liquids such as water, lemonade, milk, etc. On the chart you can see a couple of examples. Bread, lemonade. Let's take a look at all the examples on this chart. Some and any. Count and non-count nouns. Do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some eggs. No, we don't need any eggs. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. Count nouns. An egg. Eggs, a sandwich, sandwiches, non-count nouns, bread, lemonade, specific, I'm eating an egg, let's get some bread, general, eggs are good for you, bread is good for you. The next important thing to understand is the usage of some and any. Some and any are used to express quantity. I would like to analyze the questions first. Our first question, do we need any eggs? When forming questions, we may use any or some. For example, we could also say, 
do we need some eggs? Our next question, do we need any bread? We could also say, do we need some bread? However, when responding to these type of questions, we can only use some when responding positively. In our example, we can see how the question, do we need any eggs, is answered by saying, yes, let's get some eggs. And the question, do we need any bread, is answered positively by saying, yes, let's get some bread. Finally, we can only use any when responding negatively. So as we can see on both of the questions display, no, we don't need any eggs. Now it's your turn to practice by making some examples of your own. I would like for you to look into your fridge and make a list of all the things that you need and don't need to buy from the grocery store. You can only use... All right, class, uh, we do have our 40 minutes left. All right, so let me explain this uh, this part. I already explained before, right? So I tried to explain in a better way, but ahorita vamos a, a explicarlo más específico. Yo creo que lo entendieron mejor de esa manera, ahora que se los haya explicado con, el, con la práctica, con lo que se, de, se necesita o lo que necesitamos entender, y después el video. Entonces, acuérdense que, o repitiendo lo que dijo el, el maestro ahorita, dijo que podemos, vamos a ocupar any para cosas negativas, o sea, para oraciones negativas. Pero la pregunta es, do we need any eggs? Usted me puede contestar, no, we don't need any eggs. Yes, let's get, pero si usted me quiere contestar que quiere algo de, de, de huevitos para tenerlos en su, en su refrigeradora, usted me contesta, yes, let's get some eggs. Y si es no, no, we don't need any eggs. Lo mismo sería con cualquier otra cosa. Do we need any bread? No, we don't need any bread. For example, si voy a la casa, let's see, uh, a la casita de Abigail y yo llevo toda mi, todo mi familión y le digo, do we need any eggs? Porque solo vi un huevito ahí en la, en la, en la refrigeradora, ¿verdad? Y viene Abigail y me dice así bien apenada, me dice, yes, uh, Mr. Escamilla, let's get some. All right, so... O sea, ahí me está, me está hablando positivo y me dice, vamos a comprar algo, vamos a agarrar algo al supermercado. Let's get some. All right. O me puede decir, no, we don't need any eggs, Mr. Escamilla. Why? I just see one in your refrigerator. No, because I have another, another fridge in, in, the, in the second floor. Me dice, Tengo, uh, tenemos otra refrigeradora en el segundo piso y ahí hay dos cajas. ¿Verdad? Entonces, vamos a suponer, ¿verdad? Y nos vamos a agarrar las dos cajas y, nos, y comemos, ¿verdad? So, either or, you can answer with any or some, dependiendo lo que la persona le está preguntando, ¿ok? Practiquemos esto de manera, este, ¿cómo le digo? De manera puntual, de una manera, este, ¿cómo se dice? específica, ¿verdad? Para que usted lo entienda. Entonces, los count nouns, eh, los noun count nouns, el maestro lo explicó, ¿verdad? Los nombres contables y los nombres no contables, ¿all right? Él dijo, la limonada no se puede contar, ¿verdad? El agua, la leche no se puede contar, porque es imposible contarla, ¿verdad? Solo hay una agua, o sea, una agua no se puede contar. Entonces, por eso es eh, noun, I mean, not count nouns. Lo que se puede contar es un huevo o los huevos, un sándwich o los sándwiches. All right. Y otro detallito que quería tocar con ustedes, mis niños, es de que este, cada vez que ustedes miren una S al final de cualquier palabra, cualquier noun, dígame si es egg, es egg. Pero si le mira la S, trate de abrir la boquita, que no se le duerma la boquita y diga eggs. Sándwich es uno. Y si mira la ES la ES al final, sándwiches. All right. So, pero no me diga egg cuando es eggs. Ok. So, solamente eso. Y acuérdese lo que dijo el maestro. 
que hay que terminar o vaya a ver su refrigerador, agarre un papelito, ya se va a hacer la tarea y usted pone, oh, I do need some eggs. I don't think I need any cheese, porque tiene lleno de queso ahí su refrigerador. ¿verdad? Y empieza a hacer su lista como de unas 10 cosas. Si quiere las apunta, las termina y las hace en un PDF, yo las voy a revisar, si gusta las hace, si no, pues no lo haga, right? solamente es un ejercicio que usted me va a completar, ¿verdad? Abra su refrigerador y diga, ok, I have, I need some eggs, I don't think I need any cheese, I need some meat, y usted se va a la pirámide de la, de, la, de, de, de la comida y mira lo que le hace falta en su refrigeradora. Y lo escribe unas 10 cosas, lo hace en un PDF, si quiere lo manda y si no, pues, si no le queda tiempo, pues no lo haga. Ok, quiero ver quién me escribió. What time it is? Uh, teacher, no puedo responder cuánto tomaba asistencia. Wilder, ok, Wilder, no se preocupe, que ahí está con el tiempo. Si usted está ahí con el tiempo, ahí lo van a tomar en cuenta, ok. No worries. También usted, Ruth, no se preocupe. Si usted ha estado aquí, ahí está el tiempo y, y eso es lo que cuenta, ¿verdad? All right, so, uh, what time it is? All right, guys, uh, it's 10.01. I see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is Friday, right? Tomorrow, yo creo que todos vamos a estar así, ¿verdad? Porque tomorrow, okay. is, tomorrow is Friday, right? So we need to be happy. Yes. And we need to be happy every day, pero sometimes Mondays are kind of like, oh, uh, Dios mío, lunes, pero igual. Sábado chiquito, dijo ahí uh, Alex. All right, guys. I see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful rest of the night. Descansen. Y los veo mañana, okay? So, God bless you guys. Take it easy. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, good night. Good night, good night. Good night, good night, good night. No worries. My pleasure. No worries. My pleasure to be here, guys. I see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Have a good night. 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 All right, guys. All right. I see you tomorrow. All right. I see you tomorrow. Good night, guys. Good night, Jenny. Good night.